hi dear Pisces a very very good evening to you guys this is Anjali Taro and this is a journal of reading for all the Pisces Sun Moon Venus rising keep in mind this is general it's a it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the rose can be reversed also and third thing this is a reading from 11 till the 17th of June and uh, this is a reading for those who are in no contact with each other okay let's see at this present moment you guys are in no contact at all let's see your person that you're in no contact with their current feelings for you right now at this present moment we have the eight of swords and the hanged man and the ace of cups bottom of the deck is the two of swords things are up in the air between you and certain per specific person this is someone who is constantly overthinking about the situation constantly making scenarios in their mind that might not be even true and they're stuck on this situation they're trying their best to open up their mind open up uh, their heart chakra and let go of this logical thinking logical uh, logical and negative kind of thinking about the situation now now i'm not saying logical thinking is negative thinking i'm saying they're trying to put logic in everything and uh, in emotions as well and that is why this person is feeling like they're constantly in some kind of limbo where no matter how hard they're trying to crack this mental jail and come out of it they're not able to do that they are trying to see things in a positive direction, in a positive manner, trying to feel whatever you felt in the past and trying to heal the situation and open up their heart chakra to this situation. They feel like giving the situation a second chance or you can say open up with you. But again, this person is too much restricted by their own thoughts and things are kind of up in the air. They are not able to see the clear picture of the future between you and this, uh, uh, between you and them. And that is why, see, we have two cards with almost the same energies where the person is not able to see anything in front of them constantly like they are blindfolded by their own negative thoughts or own negative thinkings okay and that is why they are not able to let go of the negativity and start uh, from a fresh perspective although they feel like they should but they are not able to do that this is what i'm getting here so you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces or scorpio even if you are not just go with the energies this reading is valid for uh, all the 12 sign that you're dealing with pisces versus all the 12 zodiac even if it is coming in your reading or not not a big deal let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for this situation pisces we have the queen of swords the nine of cups and the chariot okay Again, the two of swords, they want to remove this mental conflict uh, kind of energy, this up in the air kind of energy from this situation. And they want to see things very, very clearly, right? They want to be very crystal clear about the situation. I think this person wants to communicate with you and uh, get the proper closure or get this chance to connect with you again. All this person wants to open up their heart chakra and move forward with this energy of, okay, I'm doing the right thing in the situation. They just want to do the right thing so that uh, you are going to be happy and they are also going to be happy even if it means that you guys are going to be happy without each other. So this person just wants to do the right thing with lots of cl with the crystal clear, uh, clear clarity and truthfulness and honesty. All they want is to uh, like be happy with or without you and you to be happy with or without them. Wow. All this is the this is what they want and they are kind of want to have a successful and victorious kind of energy of uh, being happy this is what they want okay i hope i'm clear to you guys you could be dealing with a cancer cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra aquarius okay let's see what this person uh, what action is this person going to take towards you if any by the 17th of june what action is this person going to take towards you if any by the 17th of june pisces We have the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords and the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands. I think this person is going to like uh, search for the truth and honesty, the search for the acceptance in the situation. And they are going to remain cold and off and detached towards the situation because they are not sure what, do should, what should they do in the situation. They are not able to see any kind of clear direction, clear path to reach you and to connect with you or to talk to you openly and honestly and understand what they should do about it. Instead, they are... Uh, constantly thinking about how can make the how can they make the situation a little bit more positive a little bit like uh, where both of you are going to go in a positive direction so they're constantly thinking about it trying to get the clarity and trying to get the uh, truth about the situation in their own mind in their own energies 
so they are themselves uh, very conflicted and very much in stressful kind of energies right now they want to communicate with you but they are not doing it from their side because they feel like they are not uh, sure about themselves so how can they, uh, they be sure about the situation wow so whatever the situation is going on right now it's going to be the same i think till the 17th of june there is no energetically i feel the shifts are going to be there where this person is going to be more receptive towards uh, this energy of okay i can hear them out i can uh, open up uh, my heart chakra with the pisces but uh, when it comes to the 3d world to take the action they're not going to do anything about it honestly speaking this is what i have for you aries leo sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra aquarius okay uh, almost uh, every sign but again this is not a spe sign specific reading just go with the energies not with the signs only let's see what is the guidance for you people in the situation pisces We have the three of pentacles and the six of cups and the strength card. See, every time, everything has an expiration date. Okay, everything, everything and everyone on this on this earth have an expiration, uh, expir uh, okay, expiration date, expiration date, you can call it. And for you, you have to understand that this is something that's uh, over kind of and this is gone. You cannot live in the past okay even if you are like uh, physically you are in the present moment but you are still living mentally and emotionally you are in the past this is not not how life works you need to understand that something from your past that was very beautiful that was a very connected kind of connection or connected kind of thing you need to learn the lessons from that and you have to courageously move ahead even if it is painful for you now it is going to like uh, make you lead to the life purpose of your life or you can say it is going to give you the strength to love yourself more and to connect with those energies, those situations that needs your help. I think everything, every bad thing that happens to a human being happens just because it is going to lead us to closer to the divine, closer to our life purpose, closer to the, you can say, higher self, so that we can do whatever we are meant to do on this earth as a human being. So you have to take it as a life lesson. You have to take it, take it as a situation where no matter how hard you try, you know, you are trying to connect with someone from your past, but it is not happening. It's high time for you to realize that this is gone. You should go ahead and find your life purpose instead of going back and uh, uh, sulking for something that's not working out anymore for you. Might be this is going to work out for you the moment you are going to release it. But the need of the hour is to release it and say, stay strong, very, very strong, stay, uh, stay courageous. You can do it. Hmm? Now we got Taurus Virgo Capricorn also. So we have every sign on my table right now. So it is Pisces versus all the 12 zodiac, zodiac sign, no matter which sign you are dealing with. Uh, the same energy is applicable to everyone. So yeah, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in Pisces. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.